Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our Sabbath school this morning. Jesus is so glad that you are here worshiping His holy name. Shall we sing praises as we start our Sabbath school and let us greet each other and sing good morning to you. You can shake hands to the one sitting beside you or just say hi and say good morning. Okay, let's sing that. Good morning to you. school get your bells i know you have bells at your home ring your bells aloud so that we will ring out loud cheerfully let us sing ring a ling a ling ring it aloud let's see ring a ling a ling ring a ling a Sabbath school and now we're going to put down our bells and we're going to talk to Jesus and you know how to talk to Jesus when we talk to Jesus we're going to pray and how do we pray God made our knees right our knees used to bend in prayer so come on let us bend our knees and have our prayer and fold our hands and close our eyes. Let's talk to Jesus. Jesus, we're so grateful to you this holy Sabbath day. Thank you for thy guidance and protection. May thou help us in our Sabbath school today. Bless the boys and girls who wants to talk to thee, who wants to listen stories from thee. Thank you for loving us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Okay. Now, we're going to read our Bible. In our Bible, we can read our memory verse. So let us sing about our Bible. Let us open Bible. Bible, you will read that Jesus loves me, Jesus loves you. So let us read our Bible 
every day. So let's sing, read your Bible, and pray every day. Let's open our palm like this as if we are opening the Bible. Let us sing, read your Bible, and pray every day. so that you will grow physically, mentally, socially, and most of all, spiritually. We read the Bible with your mom and dad at home every day, just like you're eating your food. Okay, our memory verse says, Jesus loves us. God loves us so much. That's why He created us. We can read that in our Bible. And our memory verse says, I will see about the Lord's love. Okay. Let us sing about our the Lord's love to us. So let us sing our memory verse. I will sing about the Lord's love. That's what he created us. Long time ago, okay, God created this world a perfect one. Even people were perfect. But in the long run, people became evil. They were robbers, murderers, killers, and they do, did what they wanted to do to themselves. They just take care of themselves. They don't love God anymore. And they disobeyed the God's commandment. So God was so sad and he decided to clean the earth. But there's only one who is righteous. It was Noah. Noah was a righteous man, a special friend of God. God said to Noah, Noah, Please build me an ark, an ark so that you can be safe inside the ark together with the animals because I'm going to destroy the earth with flood. So what I'm going to do, Noah said, you're going to build an ark. Do what I say because Noah was obedient. He obeyed what God's command. So, Noah took a hammer and took a saw and started building the ark. 
Building the ark needs a lot of trees. So they're going to cut using the saw and they're going to build the ark using the hammer and the nails. So let us sing that. Noah took a hammer and Noah took a saw in building the ark. Let's sing that. See, Noah took a hammer and Noah took a saw. Noah took a hammer and Noah took a saw. He made him a boat and now that it would float. Noah took a hammer and Noah took a saw. Again, Noah took a hammer and Noah took a saw. Noah took a hammer and Noah took a saw. Son, Ham, Shem, and Japheth help building the ark. So Noah cut trees in the forest and they built the ark. Okay, so after building the ark, after finishing the building the ark, see animals are walking two by two, pair by pair. Walking, running, hopping, crawling in, inside the ark. Just like the snake. The snake will go in to crawl inside the ark. Okay, let us sing that. The animals came a walking, a walking, a walking. Okay, it's a lot. Okay, the animal will walk. Animals came a walking, a walking, a walking. The animals came a walking to the ark that Noah's made. The animals came a happy, a happy, a happy. The animals came a hopping to the ark that Noah's made. Okay. The animals came a crawling. The lion came by one pair. Pair of a lion, lioness, each of its kind. The zebra, the unclean animal, two of its kind. Just like the lion, the horse, the pig, there are two of its kind entering the ark. And the clean animals, there were seven. Okay. Seven of its kind, just like the cow, the lamb, the goat, the chicken, and the rooster, and with the birds. The clean birds came with seven inside the ark. So they were so amazed because God sent an angel to guide the animals walking, crawling, hopping inside the ark that Noah's made. And then, after the animals came walking, running inside Noah's ark, then the family of Noah get inside of Noah's ark too. So there were eight persons who went inside the ark. It was Noah and his wife, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, and the wives went inside the ark. And then God sent an angel to shut the door. Nobody shut the door, but God sent an angel to shut the door. Sing that. An angel came down and shut the door. An angel came down and shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. An angel came down and shut the door of no. When they were inside the ark, on the first day, still no rain coming. And on the second day, 
Still, the rain has not yet come. And the third day, they patiently waited for the rain. Because God had said, we will send rain to pour over the earth and cover the will cover the earth with flood. On the fourth day, still the rain has not yet come. And the fifth, on the sixth day, on the seventh day, and there are the clouds, dark clouds forming the sky. And the seventh day, they started to rain. The raindrops fall and the, the water came out. And the flood came out. Let us sing that. The rain came down, the waves came up. The rain came down and the waves came up. The rain came down and the waves came up. The rain came down and the waves came up. And the boat on the water was set. Okay. The rain The rain came down, it rained heavily. There were 40 days and 40 nights, the rain poured heavily and the water came up and, and the mountains and the trees covered with water. Only the people and the animals inside the ark were safe. Nothing was left because they disobeyed God. 40 days and 40 nights. So when Noah was sailing in his boat so big, God sent an angel to watch over them. Okay, let us sing that. When Noah was sailing in his boat so big, God sent angels to watch over him when Noah was sailing in his boat so big God sent his angels to watch over him so God took care of Noah and his family and the animals inside the ark God will take care of you also God will take care of us God will take care of you also because God will never change. God will never ever change. He will take care of us and we will be grateful and thankful because God is taking care of us just what he had took care of Noah inside the ark. Let us thank for the angel's bride that God sent to us. That angels are watching over us. Angels are watching over me. I am glad, I am glad. Angels are watching over me. Thanks God for angels bright again. Angels are take care of us just like what he had take took good care of Noah inside the ark so who's in the ark the trucks on the water it's Noah's family okay let's sing that who's in the ark the trucks on the water Oh. 
inside the ark. God took care of them during the storm. Forty days and forty nights that trade heavily and the boat or the ark floats on the water and then the rain stopped and they praised God. Noah and his family praised God because God took care of them. And then they peep in the window. They still can see the earth covered with water still. And how many months? Don't know. It's six months, seven months. And then they were inside the ark. Then Noah thought that he's going to send a raven to check on the surroundings if they can move outside the ark but the raven just fly, flew and flew and went back inside the ark it means that the earth was, was covered with water and then after another week God sends a dove to look on the surroundings if it's the dry if it is, there's a dry land but still the dove went back to the ark. And then another week, God sent another dove again to see the surroundings again. And there the dove flew and flew and came back with an olive leaves on its back. And they praised God again because they knew that there is dry land. There is a there are trees and grasses on the ground already. So they praised God. They patiently waited inside the ark. They kept on praying and patiently waited inside the ark. And God told to Noah that they are now safe to go outside from the ark. Then the angel opened the door of the ark again. And the animals went running, went jumping, went hopping and crawling outside the ark. And God said, go, you are now ready, replenish the earth again. That's the commandment of God. The first thing they did when they get outside, of the ark, they built an altar. Noah built an altar and prayed to God. So after getting out inside the ark, God sent, what's this? A rainbow. God sends a rainbow in the sky, promises that God will not destroy the earth with flood again. So Noah built an altar and they praised God and they thanked God for keeping themselves in the storm during those stormy nights inside the ark. So let us sing about the rainbow that it signifies that God promised that will, God will not destroy the earth with flood again. Let us sing that. Who made the rainbow? Is Jesus. i 
Jesus sends angels to watch over us. Whenever we are sleeping, whenever we are working, whenever we are eating, God sends angels to watch over us. Each one of us has our own angel right beside us. God is watching over us. He's sending His angels to watch over us when we are playing. Let us think that. Jesus sends the angels. Jesus sends the angels, angels, angels. Jesus sends the angels to watch me when I'm playing. Eating. Jesus sends the angels. Jesus loves us so much, He will send His angels to watch over us. He will take care of us while we are sleeping, while we are playing, while we are walking. And everything that we do, God protects us and God takes care of us. Do you know that Jesus cares for you? Yes, Jesus cares for you. Jesus cares for me. So let us sing that. Jesus cares for me. Yes, Jesus cares for me. Yes, Jesus cares for me. He gave me my home, my food, and my clothing. Oh, yes, Jesus cares for me. Smile. Yes, Jesus cares for me. Yes, Jesus cares for me. He gave me my home, my food, and my clothing. Yes, Jesus cares for me. Okay. Yes, Jesus cares for us, and Jesus loves us. And it's so amusing that we will praise God and we will sing praises to Him as Jesus cares for us. We will sing about the Lord's love for us. Okay, I will let us sing our memory verse again. I will sing about, this is Lord's love. Sing. Sing. I will sing about the Lord's love. Because God loves us so much. He will take care of us. And that is the story of Noah's Ark. Shall we now sing our action song? Let us sing, My God is so great. Come on, stand up. Let us sing our action song. Follow the church. My God is so great. 
so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do for you The God is so great, so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do for you The mountains are His, the rivers are His The stars are His and He went to My God is so great, so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do for you I love you, Jesus. Let us pray. 
Our dear Heavenly Father, we would like to thank you, Lord, for being with us in our Sabbath school. Thank you, Lord, for thy guidance and protection. And thank you, Lord, for loving us even despite of our unrighteousness. May thou bless the children of the world, help them to know more about you and to love you more. Bless also the parents to guide and, and nurture their children to love you more. Forgive us from our sins and prepare us, Lord, for thy soon coming. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Now Sabbath school is over. Mm -hmm.